Now that you've got all of your professional motion graphics installed, here's how you can add them to your project. Open the Essential Graphics panel, if it isn't already open, by going to Window, Essential Graphics. In the Browse tab, you can use the search bar to find assets you're looking for. All of the Motion Pro Mogurt assets start with the letters MP and are labeled by category, subcategory, as well as some descriptive words. But you can also add and access folders easily by choosing the Manage Additional Folders. This is my favorite way to work. For your convenience, you can hover over the thumbnails to preview the animations. And once you've found just what you're looking for, go ahead and click, hold, and drag it into the timeline. If it doesn't show up right away, just give it a couple of seconds. Bear in mind that all of the Mogurt elements are created in 4K resolution to bring you the best quality. But if you're working in a different resolution, just choose scale to frame size to fit the graphics to the resolution of your project. Then you can either use the scale and position properties in the effect controls or head back to the essential graphics panel and use the edit tab to make your adjustments. Want the graphic to be longer or shorter? Change the duration by dragging the end of the Mogurt layer to shorten or lengthen the layer. Another quick note, some of the title animations use custom fonts. You can find the links for the free fonts in the fonts folder. Or you could just dismiss the font message and use the default replacement fonts. And just like that, you're ready to use as many graphics as you want. But I've got a few tips to help you get the best results when you're using Mogurt files. Tip number one, set the light leak transitions, overlays, as well as any text animations that happen to have a glow or blur effect on them to add or screen in the blend mode setting in the effect controls panel. Trust me, those graphics will look way better when you do this. Tip number two, place the transition animations so that the cut of your two clips is hidden by the full screen part of the animation. And finally, tip number three, if you don't like the ending animation of a graphic, you can cut the layer before the out animation starts and then click, hold and drag the new end of the layer to extend the resting part of the animation. Now that graphic is not moving unless you add animation of your own.